What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, we are going to take a little bit of a break when it comes to talking about Modern Warfare 2. We'll resume that type of content maybe near the end of the week, but as we all know, some brand new information came out about Battlefield 2042. It was a pretty decently sized update. Not a massive update, but it's a decent update. It came with a basically a relaunched version of Renewal, so tons of new cover. It changed up the Conquest flag locations. You know, things are done here and there, so I went ahead and tried that out. They added in a couple of weapons, which are portal weapons, but again, we'll go ahead and talk about that a little bit later. And they also came out on a live stream and discussed a little bit about the future of what we should expect within Battlefield 2042. But before we go ahead and really dig deep into all this content, Content. Just very quickly, I do want to mention that some new information came out about World War III. So today we're going to check out that game on my live stream. So if you want to see my live impressions of World War III and just to see how that game is holding up current day, because as we all remember, you know, World War III was supposed to be the Battlefield 2042 killer. You know, that game was supposed to do it all, but they just vanished once again. So I'm curious to see the progress that the developers have made on this game behind the scenes. So if you want to see my live impressions of that game, tune into the live stream. The link to that is down in the description of this video and I'll probably have a video out on that topic tomorrow. Now, when it comes to the content that was added into Battlefield 2042 within this update, I'm pretty impressed. You know, DICE has truly proven to the community that they understand what we want when it comes to map designs. You know, and that's very crucial, especially when it comes to the future of this franchise. I was extremely stressed. I think we're all pretty stressed because this is the game they presented to us. You know, we waited all those years. They hyped the living hell out of Battlefield 2042. And then we ended up getting a turd, and a really bad turd to be exact. I mean, the worst maps we have seen in the whole franchise. So it's a little stressful to think about the future of the franchise when the new devs who just came in made what they made. You know what I'm saying? But with all of these reworked versions of these maps, they have instantly proven that they understand what we want. I don't know what happened here in the beginning of this game, but they've proven very quickly that they understand the vibe that we want when it comes to the map designs and how to make something that actually has flow. You know, the previous maps, they had no flow. These maps, oh my god, much more flow. Throughout this whole gameplay, I'm not even going to cut up this gameplay. I'm just going to pretty much just run the whole thing because I had some pretty good streaks, some pretty good lives, and I ran from flag to flag, so you'll be able to see the scenery and, you know, how it works being an infantry player. So I'll admit, if I have to compare this game from, you know, the base game that released day one all the way up to current date, how it is right now after this update, it has gone through massive improvements. But just because it's gone through massive improvements doesn't mean it's a fantastic game, not even close. You know, I would have to say, to this current date, Battlefield 2042 is still one of the worst Battlefield games in the whole franchise. You know, no matter how much work and effort they decide to put into this game, I cannot see the community ever considering it being better than something like Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, or even Battlefield 5, go back to the bad companies, or even say Hardline. I just cannot see this game surpassing any of that stuff. But back to, you know, what the update is all about here. I gotta say, I'm extremely disappointed. Every single update that comes out, it almost seems like the game breaks more than it actually fixes. I can't get into the experience. Not only were the servers basically down for the full day, hopefully that's fixed today, but the other day when it first came out, you know, and keep in mind, this isn't a massive update, so it's not like they're gonna have an overwhelming amount of players coming into this game. The servers were completely crashing, but not just that. Later on, I see this every other game that I play. Apparently, your boy j and a man is a cheater, okay? You know what? That, that's fine, EA. If that's how you really feel, then that's how you feel. But seriously, it's annoying. It's obnoxious. And the only way to get past this error message is to completely shut down the game, restart it, and then the game starts acting normal again. And then after a few more games, the message starts popping up. And like I said, you can't stay in the game and just leave it rejoin no you have to restart the whole game get everybody kicked out of the party reload the game get everybody back into the party it <sighs> i don't understand how this stuff happens the mouse input still feels extremely off and you know the developers voice their opinions about that and they're very genuine about it but seriously i mean my goodness i can't believe that we're here current date trying to get the mouse to work correctly in a Battlefield game. I mean, it has felt good in every single title I've ever experienced in Battlefield. Battlefield 5, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3. I can go back and play the old school Battlefield games right now and it'll feel better than Battlefield 2042. You know what I'm saying? I can go back and play the old school COD games. I can go back and play any old school game. 
all the classics feel better than 2042. I don't know how we got to this point. We are in the year of 2022, and for some strange reason, we still can't get that really crispy, responsive aim. Now, they said they're going to continuously work on that, but again, like I said, we're almost a year into development. That's what really gets me about this whole update here, is that we are a year into development, and these things are still not presented to us. Even this map update, you know, it's fantastic. I think the map plays amazing. And like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, it proves to me that the developers understand what we want out of the map designs. But seriously, we waited how many months for them to add cover to this map? I, I'm, I'm partially, partially blown away that it took this long to remodel this map. They weren't, you know, building it from the ground up anymore. That's already done. You know, that part of the map design is already done. All we asked was, you know, for you to go build cover. I mean, if you had a workable forge mode where you could edit maps, you know, instead of how Portal is now. I mean, like I said, so much missed potential in Portal. But if we had a workable forge mode, uh, the community would have done that in less than an hour, probably 30 minutes. I mean, we waited months for this to be introduced into the game. And this is just, you know, a very select few. We've only had two maps remade. And the rest of the maps have still yet to be touched. And they still all have to be redone. I mean, at this rate... <laughs> When are we going to get everything? When are we going to get everything? And these new guns that have been added in, it's fantastic. I love having more content, more weapons to mess around with within the game. It's a SMG and a sniper rifle, much needed in those categories as well. Anything is welcome right now. And also, the developers in that live stream stated that within every single update, even tiny patch updates, there will be new weapons from Portal introduced into the mix. So that's another positive thing because obviously there's a lot of patch updates. They're not just massive patch updates. They have little patch updates as well. So hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more content. But my goodness, that's something that should have been in the game day one. Am I right or am I wrong? When I first saw Portal being introduced, I thought to myself that all the maps and all the weapons would be usable in all-out warfare. That's how every game that I've ever witnessed, you know, when they bring in old school stuff, that's how it works. They don't just add it into, you know, one thing, they add it into the overall experience, right? You know, uh, but no, no, they didn't do that in Battlefield's case. They kept it all to Portal. And obviously, they trickled it out later over time, but they're using this to their ability to make these patch updates seem like they're meaningful. Instead of giving us all the weapons at launch, they're slowly trickling them out. You know, they're done. They're, they're literally done already. They could give them to us now, but they want to slowly trickle them out to make it seem like something is being made within the game. Please, just announce that the game has a skeleton crew working on it already. They're defending the hell out of it. That is tons of people working on this game, and they want to see it succeed. But in my opinion, it's a skeleton crew. They all moved on. I, I cannot imagine in any other world or any other reality, you know, a business <laughs> seeing how much a game has failed and keeping their whole team on it to fix it instead of working on the next project and making sure it never happens again. You know what I'm saying? They have to have a massive team on the next game. And these are just, you know, it, it, like I said, a skeleton crew. And they're talented developers. So a skeleton crew and, you know, a, a big-ass AAA development team is much more efficient than a skeleton crew working for, you know, a very small indie game. So clearly, they can get out much bigger updates, much bigger patches. They can get work done, but... I just want them to just admit it, you know, just just tell us, man, that <laughs> that you guys have pretty much just, you know, moved on to the next project, because I feel like a lot more people would be less stressed about this game. You know, if we knew that you guys were just trying to give us what you promised, you know, four seasons, minimal content, whatever. Once that's over, we're moving on. If you just told us that that's the case and you guys aren't trying to do massive changes to make this game the best Battlefield game ever, I think the community would be a lot more settled back because the crap that we have to deal with is absurd. Like I said, this update didn't even work correctly. I, I was streaming for five hours, and over half of that gameplay time was me getting accused of cheating. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. As you can hear, I'm currently speechless. But ladies and gentlemen, do me a massive favor, go down in the comment section and let me know if you tried out the brand new update within this game. Like I said, you know, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy using new weapons. I enjoy playing on reworked versions of these previous maps because the reworks are really nice. They're fun. They're playable and they feel refreshing in their own way. It doesn't feel completely like new content, but it's definitely refreshing content. So it wasn't completely bad, but my god, between the errors, the lag, the connection, the lack of improvements to just, you know, simple shooting on a mouse and keyboard is really destroying the overall fun and flow. I, I'm just blown away how long it's taken this game to get to a fully polished state. Because they claim if they said nobody's working on it, then I wouldn't have any standards for this game whatsoever. I'll be like, okay, you know, whatever. It's over. They already said that they're not doing anything. They're just going to be doing the update slowly, and that's all. 
but they haven't. They keep claiming it's a lot of people working on this project and they care a ton. So guess what? If you say that, I'm going to keep it at that standard. I don't know what else to tell you, but ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Bums, I hate it. Leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you want to chat me, this is two ways to do so. I have Twitter and Discord, both linked down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams to video games, drove on Twitch. Link that's in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.